we're at the Music Hall. I'm your host, Amanda Stone, and Carolyn Bowman is with us as a, one of the great characters in Monty Python's Spamalot. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for so joining. You're so welcome. What's the best thing about Lady of the Lake? <laughs> oh, there's so many great things. Um, well, I think one of my favorite things is the costumes. Uh, they're amazing. There are these beautiful beaded goddess-like costumes, <laughs> and I have like, you know, seven of them. So every time I change, it's like a new fabulous costume. Uh, and then another thing is I get to sing such wonderful music in the show. Um, so that's really fun for me. And, you know, and I get to work with a fabulous cast and, you know, and everybody, everybody involved in this production really wants to make it the best. So I think that's probably my number one favorite about it. I was looking at your people. bio and and I saw where where you've uh, toured overseas. It's like uh, join the Navy and see the world, become right? an actress. And I know. Tell us about that. Who knew? Who knew, right? <laughs> I, um, yeah, yeah, I uh, traveled to China and I did a three-month contract there with a production of Fame and then I went to Istanbul, Turkey and did Greece, Greece and Turkey. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've been seeing so much of the world and I, I before I, you know, before I graduated college, I never knew that I would be seeing this much. I thought, you know, being an actress, I'm going to move to New York and that's where I'm going to be for the majority of my life. But, but what's it like with a with Chinese audience? Um, it's actually interesting. They, they're, you're not really sure whether they like the show while you're, while you're doing mm. it. And then they, at the end, they just blew up. They exploded. Mm. I mean, they, mm -hmm. they loved it. But it's, I think they have very proper protocol over there. Like oh, they, okay. they're, um, told to be, you know, polite and, and, it, which is good, mm -hmm. but we're so, you know, as American audiences, we're mm -hmm. so used to the ra rowdy type, and that's exactly what we need for this show, is, you know, the type that are going to come and know the jokes and, and, you know, really go along with us, with mm -hmm. the comedy, because we, we need, it's for our energy and for our, you know, in order to have a good show, I think, for Spamalot, mm -hmm. it's necessary to have. You need audience participation. Absolutely. <laughs> It's great, and I love. That's why I love the show. Is they, they people walk out whistling and humming the tunes, and it's just it's just so fun. You attended Penn State. Mm -hmm. Are you from Pennsylvania? I'm not. I'm actually from Maryland. Okay. How'd you get to Penn State then? Well, I I actually had um, a couple friends who went through there, and they have a great musical theater program. So I I knew that I wanted to go to a school and focus on musical theater, and. Penn State just drew me in. I loved it, and I had a great four years there. And my, my class is amazing, and my fac the faculty there was wonderful. So yeah, I mean, I just chose it because of their fabulous musical theater program. Did you start singing before you started talking? I did. I think <laughs> I was. I think I was singing "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star" before I, you know, could say a sentence. <laughs> and I was actually talking to um, somebody here earlier, and I said. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I came dancing out of the womb, so <laughs> I always knew I was going to do this. Did you dance as a, as a kid as well? I did. I didn't do as much dancing as I probably should have growing up, but my parents did put me in ballet when I was three, mm. and they put me in jazz classes, and so I was, I was constantly, you know, performing. Mm. Any siblings who perform? Actually, no. My younger brother's a wrestler. So my mom and I are actors, and my dad and my brother are wrestlers, so I'm completely split down the middle. I have a good balance of both. So I grew up with the sports and athletics, and my dad was putting me in sports, but then I always wanted to sing and dance, so I, that over, override or overrode the, the, the sports element in my life. What about when you were in high school? Did you do musicals? Uh, I did. I did, I had, and I had the most wonderful drama teacher in high school mm -hmm. who is still supporting me. She's come to see this show three or four times, um, just traveling around the country, and she, I, she definitely helped develop my skills, and mm -hmm. she's just, oh gosh, she's such a goddess. She's my, I call her my directing angel. <laughs> she was just 
when I graduated college or high school, she gave me a little angel with a little director's um, oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so she, yeah, she's very influential in my life. If you had the opportunity now to, to say to somebody 15, 16 years old who was interested in musical theater, what mm -hmm. would your counsel and advice I'd be? I'd say just, just keep going for it and keep practicing and keep just, it's hard. It's a hard business to get into and I think you just have to know, you have to believe in yourself and you have to, you know, I have had the most wonderful support system so I've been lucky enough to have that but not everybody has that and you just have to know that what your dream is and and that it can come true because everybody starts everybody has to start somewhere and you know these people on Broadway and and winning Oscars and you know Meryl Streep you know they all started you know from they all started they are regular people so mm -hmm. they are they all started somewhere so you just got to keep its persistence and determination that will make you go far how long have you been touring with uh, Monica? We've Costas? been touring for about 10 or 11 months. Really? Yeah, we started in August. So we're finishing up here, which is finishing wow. up this year here. This so. season here. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. Yeah. So what are you going to be next? <laughs> well, <laughs> this summer I'm actually doing a production of Grease at home. I'm okay. going to be playing Rizzo, another production of Grease. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to um I'm going back to Maryland and I'm going to mm -hmm. spend time with my family and Well, neat. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm Rizzo really seems like it'd be a great part to play. Yeah, Rizzo, <laughs> she's fun. She's fun. She's definitely a fireball, so she's fun to play. Well, good. Well, I'm, we're so glad that you're the lady of the lake and that you're I'm happy to be the lady <laughs> of the lake. <laughs> that, that you you're here with us and uh, you picked a great time uh, to be in Dallas because uh, people right now are just beside themselves over the Mavericks and the basketball. I know, they're all excited. So now they have to come support theater. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Caroline, thank you so much for joining you're, you're us. You're so welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh,